All right, welcome back once again. Let's talk a little bit about, before we move too much further, the arrange toggle views and some of the buttons here. We've touched on uh, one or two of these earlier in the uh, course, but I just want to go in a little bit better detail and kind of show you what we have here. So this one I've showed you before, I believe. It is the uh, clip view, clip launch view, and it shares uh, with both of these on, it shares with the arrangement view, and you can kind of move around here with the slide bar left or right throughout the clip launch uh, scene choices to get uh, any directions you need to go there. The next one, of course, if we turn that off, we can see all the clips and the scenes and everything in their full view. And we still have our little scroll bar. And of course, if we take that guy off, there's got to be something to look at. So let's look at the arranger view. The next button here is our input output routing. So if you've been wondering where to find those things and uh, where to maybe what they call group or bus tracks, this little guy here is going to give you the spot to go to. You click on there and you've got all your ins wherever your audio is coming in from. If you want to record something, choose it there. And of course, where is the audio going? Well, it's got to go somewhere. So is it going to the master? Or would you like to send maybe send it out to another track? And that, uh, of course, is the idea behind busing or grouping tracks, is selecting it here and telling it what track you want the audio to head towards. And let's see what we've got next here. The next button over, we have the effects track. So you can actually choose to view that or hide that out of your view, depending on what you need for screen real estate. And it responds down here as well as up here with that button. Hide, don't hide, the effects tracks. The next button over is one we did, I think, cover earlier in the course, but Again, it's um, an opportunity to maximize real estate and kind of single or double row of the track height. What's cool about this is even though we've kind of minimized it, you still have your volume selector control kind of tucked away for you and available to grab on the fly if you need to. So haven't lost too much there. Let's move on to the next video.